Hey guys, this is Big Guy Car Reviews and more here. Hey, I just want to say a personal thank you to all those who subscribe to my channel. Um, 2021 was a pretty pivotal year as far as being a YouTuber. Because the start out around back in April of 2021, I only had like 34 subscribers. And I didn't know if I was going to be able to keep up with the channel, this, that, and the other. But I decided, you know what? Keep pushing. Keep making videos. Keep publishing. And see where we go. And before I knew it, I ended up with 50 subscribers. And when I saw that, I said, yeah, I'm going to keep this up. This is what I do. I enjoy it. Let's keep moving forward. And as soon as I said that, I looked up. I had 100 subscribers. Now we're at 212 subscribers going into the 2022 uh, New Year. I uh, just want to say thank you to all. If I didn't say it before, thank you one and all for being here with me. And let's continue to enjoy this channel as we continue to grow. I'm going to keep trying to get to the places where a lot of these good old cars are at, classic cars. Hey, I want to start branching off into more modern cars, um, rice racers, any type of street racer, uh, any type of classic car, vintage cars that I always wanted to do. I'm going to be looking for them, really push forward. Now that we seem to be getting... Better help with this COVID, but Omnicrom is here, unfortunately. So we don't know how 2022 is going to be affected by Omnicrom. But um, I'm going to keep trying to get to, as I said, to the places where all the best cars are at. Especially with the museums and um, other places as well. But we shall see. The main thing is um, we're going to make good videos. Videos with good content for one and all to enjoy. Uh, all I ask now, especially now, that you please like and get some friends to help uh, help some friends to subscribe. You know, please smash up the likes and um, let's enjoy. Let's enjoy this 2022 new year. Uh, one more thing. I got one last video from 2021. Um, you're going to like it. It's about a nice old uh, Plymouth Dodge. Um I won't say anymore. I'm going to let the video roll and let you guys check it out. All right. Thanks again. Enjoy 2022. Okay, guys. Hey, I found something that's an oldie but goodie, yet it's a uh, swap. So it does, it's got a more modern motor in it. And uh, it's a 63 body. It's a Plymouth Valiant. And it's got a updated... Hemi in it. So let's take a look at it. I know you're going to like it. Okay, guys, this is a 63 Valiant. And right off the bat, we're going to go right to this engine compartment. In here is a 5.7 V8 Hemi. Same motor I got in my pickup truck. And that thing moves that truck. So I know this 5.7 that's in here can move this Valiant. Although this is a solid car, metal. This thing sitting right in here nice and clean. There's no AC, no nothing. Just the motor, the air filter, that's it. <laughs> and the radiator, that is it. And uh, there's a tight fit in here and I can barely get the front end. I mean, they get cars parked all in here. Just before I do any more, you can see for yourself, nice and tight in here with cars so you really don't have much room to do anything now back to the Valiant so as I was saying this car has that Hemi swap in it and uh, it's a decent body I mean this thing is well done it's a really good car this body is really cool. I'm not gonna say decent, I'm gonna say really, really good shape. Excellent shape, just about. Cause we get the back end of this thing. I only seen a Valiant like this with the same color and it was at the drag strip at US 41. And this and there was an old, older gentleman who had that car. And he had it for a long time. He built that car and he dragged that, raced that car, you know. This thing here is pretty, pretty clean. I 
Let's get back to that driver's side. Yeah. Very clean on the inside. Well, this particular type of blue sticks out, don't it? <laughs> bench, split bench. I believe there's a stick shift. Yeah, looks like that's a Hey, what is that? Six speed. I do believe this is a six speed with a Hemi. I'm gonna have to check the information on that one. Yeah, guys, I was right. There's a six speed in this thing. What a 5.7 Hemi? Oh my God. Yeah. As you can see, it says Super Sleeper, and it's listed everything on this Valiant. With the 2009 5.7 Hemi, 5.7 Hemi swap. I mean, this thing here has been really four-wheel disc brakes. Yeah, suspension, everything. Huh? They say they invested forty thousand, but as you can see, the price down here this is what you they're asking for here: Country Classic cars for this car. Yeah, maybe worth your while. Come check it out.